software. Uh, and the uh, multi-beam system has its own interface, um, which you can control the settings, the opening of the aperture, um, range settings, uh, power gain. That stuff is controlled through the software itself, I mean through its own software. The collection software then lets you uh, see what's going on. So right now we're just sitting at docks. We're not we're getting a scan, but we're just getting the same scan over and over. We're not actually moving. Um, so you can you can see the bathymetry. We're hitting both sides of the pier structure on the one side and some of the, the boat and uh, building structure on the other side of the cove here. So the laser is in this peach color. Uh, zero is roughly mean low water. Once you start recording, you actually start painting the chart over, so you can see the the broad NOAA basis. You know, there's a, a channel line, and then you know there's a, there's a shoulder in the the cove. But now you can zoom in as we paint. In real time, see the bottom. Get a few. Paris and the laser, depending on how you are in the sun. There's a lot of uh, shimmering going on right now on a bright sunny day. So you need to get some errors. You know, we're getting huge ambient light problems because it's an exceptionally bright sunny day. The angle of the sun is right. You can see the water shimmering, so you're getting one. And this is, yeah, this is all up in the sky, actually. So now we're painting pretty crisp bottom coverage and structural coverage. Getting the software to work on any given day seems almost tragic. Um, based on upgrades, driver problems, things of that nature, there's, there's 20 different systems that have to work together for that data to come together properly. Um, the MDL is actually a nice system because it's a fully integrated system with a software that works very, very well with it. Um, it's a plug and play type system. We had to go through the integration with the POS MV on that, which will allow us to probably get slightly higher quality data because the motion reference unit is, is infinitely higher, not infinitely, but another factor higher than the system that comes with us, the unit standard. Um, and then, of course, your, your navigation system costs as much as that laser combined, so you know, there's, there's the integration issues that are there. And you have to have good quality sensors to, in, to ensure that you're getting that good quality data. So when you're doing some of this mobile laser with this, are you putting out targets on the shoreline? Or? That's how you that's how you calibrate the system properly. So yeah. you'll put in known targets at surveyed locations, um, and then scan them to get your your horizontal and vertical accuracies correct on the vessel. You can do a cursory scan off of any fixed object and do an alignment uh, correction on that. There are calibration uh, routines that you go through within the software to be able to, to accomplish that. And, uh, and then for the tighter calibrations, you have to uh, slowly pass these objects to make sure that you're scanning um, the extremities of it and then you get a good pattern on them. But you need to get enough points on a target, right? You do. You do. If you're only hitting one point on there, you have no idea where it's at and your, your horizontal and vertical accuracies can easily be incorrect. So you and what, what kind of point resolution are you getting? Five points per meter? Or it's all based on the speed of the vessel that you're the, the spin of the... Of the the unit, this is one of their lower grade demo units that they have. This is not not the highest end uh, type system that they have. Uh, the newer units all spin at a higher rate. Uh, so it's all based on, on, on revolution per minute and then forward travel speed. You're basically corkscrewing just like any other laser system and, and forward motion is what completely determines. Forward motion and revolutions per minute are determined point density. Have you kind of come to uh, optimum scanning speed? Uh, Normal survey speeds for the vessel are actually pretty good for bulk surveys, but if you're looking for high resolution on specific targets, you've got to slow it down to one to two knots um, with this particular application. And that basically matches data density of the multi-beam system with the data density of the uh, laser system so that you're getting about the same um, point coverage um, for both systems so that there's a comparative nature when you go post-process the work. But I'm not a boat guy. How fast are we going right now? Right now we're doing three knots. Okay, so a little bit slower than this even. A little bit slower than this, yeah.